Look at your cute little new outfit with all the helicopters. It's so cute. You look so cute in it. Look how cute those little helicopters are. It's mama's camera. No, you can't have it. No. Good morning, guys. So, we just got up a little while ago. We were just kind of hanging out in bed with each other, playing. Playing with my baby. Playing with him. Oh, you want the camera so bad. So, someone just got a diaper change and got changed out of this PJ. So now I am going to take a shower. I need to wash my hair, which means I need to dry my hair, which takes forever. So I'm going to do that right now. Um, I'm going to let it just kind of air dry for a little bit while I make breakfast and hang out with this one. <laughs> And then a little bit later today, we are going to go, one of my friends, her parents and family, whatever, um, they just opened up a new restaurant. It is Vietnamese and Chinese, like, blend of food, and I'm really excited to go try it. Their soft opening is for the entire week, so I am going to go over there with um, my friend Christine and this guy. And we are going to go try some yummy food. So I think we're going to go, I'm going to go pick her up probably around noon because it's right by her house. And um, we're going to go over there. Hi, baby. Are you going to be good boys to hear when mama showers? Are you going to be good boys to hear when mama showers? We need to get you a bib, little drilly boy. You little drilly, no, you can't have that. You can't have that. You can play with that. Yeah, you can play with that. Go drive your little car around. Mama loves your new little helicopter onesie. He looks so cute on you. He looks so cute on my baby. Yes, he does. Nope. So can't have it. So can't have it. Nope. So, I just got out of the shower and my OB called me back with my results of my biopsy from my cervix. And he said that it came back with very mild dysplasia of cells on the cervix. So he gave me one of two options. So the first one would be to just leave it alone, redo another pap in six months, and see how my results come out then. Or he said that we can freeze the lining of my cervix. But, and that was what he recommended. But... If we do that path, he said that there are some studies that show that it becomes more difficult to get pregnant. But he said that, you know, people still do get pregnant, but it, it can become more difficult. But that just worries me because I'm already considered a high risk um, when I am pregnant just because I miscarried before I had him. And I've already had... Um, one procedure where they remove um, a small like sliver of my cervix so my cervical lining is already slightly um, thinner than it should be which can cause complications when the baby gets heavy because it's not as supportive to hold the baby in um, when I had him it wasn't a problem every time they measured my cervix it was like over the like baseline that it needed to be I guess but um, I don't know, that makes me nervous because I want to have more babies, like at least two to three. Like I've always wanted to have a lot of children. I mean, not a lot, a lot, but like, you know, three or four. And I just feel like this is kind of making it hard. Are you trying to make it so that you're an only child like mama? Hmm, is that what you're trying to do? You like mama's towel, huh? At least I have this cute baby. So, I don't know. It's like... It's a tough decision. Like, I feel like I need to, like, research that some more. And then make a decision with Scott. Because... I don't know. I don't want to, like, make it more difficult to get pregnant. And then risk having more miscarriages. But at the same time, I don't want cervical cancer. So... What do we do, baby? What do we do with your brothers and sisters? Yeah, let's see what daddy has to say. All right, guys, I almost forgot. I was about to sit down and eat breakfast, but I remembered that it's Monday 
And I need to weigh myself. Okay. Summer, are you helping me? One sixty two point six. So I've gone up point two. I've gone up point two pounds since last Monday. Summer, don't sniff my butt. So hmm, that's actually kind of surprising because my sugar intake has how to get that walker out of the bathroom. My sugar intake has significantly been lowered in the past week. So, Sama, you are always in the way. She's like my shadow, but a shadow that is even closer than a shadow should be. I just made some breakfast. Eh, nothing exciting. I made scrambled eggs, a piece of Ezekiel toast, and this corned beef hash from a can, which normally I like, but I got this one from the Dollar Tree, and it was, like, usually it's really, like, condensed in the can, and this was really oily, so I'm like, how old is this? Like, I know it lasts forever, it's, like, an earthquake type food, but it doesn't taste the same. So, anyways, I know I've been eating a little bit worse dirt, like, as far as, like, my meals, since I've been on the sugar detox, just because it's been kind of like, you know, like a, a one bad habit replaced by another, but it's helped me like not have as much sugar intake. So hopefully by like, I'm thinking by week three, I'll notice like a difference in weight because like by week two, like end of week two, like most all sugar should be out of my diet. Um, as far as, like, artificial sugar and stuff like that. Um, but once, like, the cravings are gone, then I'll be able to focus on eating healthy and stuff again. So, guys, there's, like, a little nap in my house. What did you just do to yourself? You are down there alone, dog. I don't know what she just did. So, yeah, there's a little neck that's been, like, following me. Anyways, this dog food, like, right now is driving me insane. Need to get, like, oh, yeah, that's what I should do. I'm going to go to Costco today and get him more dog food. But I need to see if they have, like, a Tupperware thing that I can, like, a plastic bin to put it in so it doesn't just have a bag sitting here. That's annoying. Because I can't sit on that side because the dog crate's over there. Like, this is, like, the only chair that fits around the table now. Because it's, like, it's dog bed, dog crate. So this is, like, a dog house. Basically, a really large dog house. I don't know what scared you, dog, but you don't need to be underneath me. So I'm gonna eat my cold breakfast now. <laughs> Literally, even when he's been entertained, like, I think I'm, like, either doing, like, some kind of vlogging and then I still end up having cold food. So, um... I'm gonna eat this. Oh my gosh, it's already 11.38 and I'm supposed to go have lunch at 12. And I'm about to eat right now. Okay, I think I'm just gonna eat like a little bit of my eggs and then probably just go to my friend's house. Crap, I didn't realize it was so late. Ugh. I got caught up with all like the, the OB stuff and then researching and all that, so. Okay, I need to go. <laughs> See my baby, my bouncy boy. My bouncy boy. You love to bounce, baby. You said you
them in my bedroom so that she wouldn't get them, but apparently she found out that they were in the bedroom because I leave them by the back door um, so that they can like run out to go get laundry or whatever outside. Um, so I started leaving them back there instead of by the front door where she chews them. Yeah, that didn't stop her. She basically destroyed my sandal. to keep my old ones just to like have like if I'm gonna go do something like dirty I don't mess up my new ones. I hate her. She started chewing on Scott's too so I don't even know where his are. Oh so annoyed. I was like I found well there was one on her bed so I knew she was chewing on him. The other one I knew I left by the back door it wasn't there. I finally found it over um, in the hallway. It was like over under all this stuff that we're like supposed to take out to the shed but I need to get a bin for first all of our like input inserts. I actually need to do that. I need to go to um, Target because I think they're having a sale on the large bins and when I went last time they weren't on sale so I wanted to wait till they went on sale to get them and then I'm just going to stick all the infant inserts in them and then stick it in the shed or the garage wherever. Anyways, so I nursed him, he fell asleep, thank God, and he is still asleep, luckily. Okay, con guy, what are you doing? Um, so I am on the way now to Christine's house, and then I'm going to pick her up. We're going to go eat at my friend's family's uh, restaurant that is opening right now, and then we're going to go to Costco. She's going to go to Costco with me. I just need to get puppy food. She probably needs stuff there too, because we actually share a membership at Costco. Um, I really don't like when his head falls like that. It freaks me out. I just I pulled his head back and it like flopped back when he didn't even wake up. It makes me so nervous. <laughs> and then I drive and it falls apart again. Ugh. Why, hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> He's so angry. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's his thing. <laughs> so I couldn't figure out why his head kept falling forward. Like, his head always falls forward when he sleeps, and I'm always trying to pull it back. But his whole body kept falling forward. Yeah. And I realized it was because yeah, I forgot yeah. to tighten the strap oh. of his car seat. Because hey, I always keep don't it. Cry. Don't cry. Don't <laughs> cry. You're fine. <laughs> 
sorry. Okay, it's not just me. See? I'm sorry. Oh, sorry Addison, stop being racist. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Okay, let's drive. <laughs> End of the world. Are you guys excited for food? Actually, yeah. I looked at the pictures. I know. I was they were, on the Instagram. Do you have any Instagram? I have CC on Instagram. Yeah. I don't have. Oh, you don't have the Lotus House? No. Yeah. But I was looking. I at saw it. that you liked pictures of it, and so I looked at it, and I was like, that looks good. I know. I was like, mm. <laughs> well, she said her mom makes really good Vietnamese food, and it looks like it's like. Is he oh. just like not looking at you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, oh. Yeah. She's like, he's I'm like, he's like, away. why did you talk? Did I say you could speak? Did I say you could speak? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, this is really no. funny. What's the You're easiest so way to go there? It's it. like this way or a down? I thought down we way? were chill. We are at Lotus House. This is his first time with this like car seat cover that doubles as a high chair cover. What do you think of it, baby? Kind of slashing in it. Yummy. Yeah. Yeah, Look at all this yum food. So we'll get two of these because there's only two rolls in there. And then a soup. And then another thing. What's the matter? What are these? Mm. Ooh, what is that? Coconut? Fresh coconut. Yeah. Did you see our Snapchat? That we sent I did. Oh, you sent me one? She okay. sent me one. Oh, I do have a Snapchat look. <laughs> You're a little short for this table. You're a little short for this table. <laughs> VIP status. <laughs> That is so cute. I want to do that in my yard. Hello, Ikea. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where did you get that? Wow. I got that at Home Depot. Really? It's so pretty. Oh, man. That's I know. Me too. That's so cute. I did get two bites that night, except they were like very mild. You look like you have been eaten alive. I noticed, like, I was at the bank and someone was even saying that. Like, I was just like, it's everyone is getting. Oh my god! Oh my god! Huh? Why do you think you do? you like it? You're just happy you're not seeing the chips. So these are all real. Yeah, they're all real. They're all perfect. How long have this best stuff. Whoa. How long has this stuff been alive for? Because I usually kill stuff in like a week. Well, if you see that cilantro up there, it's kind of dead. Yeah, remember my cilantro it's plant? It's dead. Like, yeah. You're like, remember mine? It's so sad. It just looks a little tired. I want to do this. So there's, they're alive for now. There's Shiloh. Mom? This is my mom. Hi. Hi. Sorry, my hand fell. Oh, it's okay. Nice to meet you. She's cooking all your food, all her ingredients. Um, here's what's left of the food. <laughs> Let's 
Caesar's like, I'm not showing you my food. I'm not showing it to you. <laughs> that one still looks cute. Yeah. This one's like, is that hot? Bouncy boy! Bouncy boy! Bouncy boy! You gonna sit? What are we doing? So we're bouncing. But I'm gonna take this person bouncing. Okay, okay. Are you thinking? No. What are you thinking? What do you think? did really good inside. I'm starting to try and venture out of the house more and getting used to being out and not always having to be at home for his naps so that when he's not home for his naps because I have to run an errand he's not flipping out and screaming at me. Um, <laughs> make both our lives a little easier. So I am headed home. Scott should already be home. I should have gone to the one closer over to my house, but this was close to where we were right now. And I didn't think it was going to be so packed because it was like midday, but I was wrong. It is packed no matter what time we come for some reason. It's so bad here. <sighs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to head home and hopefully we have enough room in our fridge and freezer for this stuff. I didn't grab that much stuff. But yeah, they spent over $100. You can't go to Costco and not spend over $100. Every item there is like over $10. Alright guys, so we just ran through Costco real quick. Christine and CJ couldn't come with us because Christine had a work meeting. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I remember why I don't come to this Costco anymore because it is always packed. Like, it doesn't matter what time of day you go, it's packed. watch you okay yeah you stay with puppy no you don't stay with puppy you come with mommy and daddy you want to go to home depot yeah come on come with us yeah you want to come come mama yeah we are gonna go to home depot scott needs to get a sink drain part and i don't know what else and pet boys and yeah Oh, let me show you a better, a better look at those tennis shoes that I got at Costco. So this is them. I think I just like it because of that peach color and the gray. I don't know. I think they're really cute. They're just cute to just throw on. And by the way, I used to be a size nine. Um, apparently. I think my feet grew a half an inch since I had a baby, which I'm pretty sure I remember my mom telling me that her feet grew a half an inch after she had me, or just like later on in life. Yeah, size 9 doesn't fit me anymore. I already had big feet. Now they're even bigger. What the heck? I got all the pictures for the gallery wall here, 
and I totally got the wrong size for this one. I'm so sad. Look how cute my baby is. I got 8 by 10, but it was supposed to be 11 by 14. But this one, I love this one too. I think I'm going to put this one here since this is all kind of like, these are all like maternity pictures. And so then I think that one of us with the baby would be cute. I was trying to find something that would be like similar in, like these are like very nature picture. So this one is the backyard, so it's cute. And then I got a bunch more here. So later today or tomorrow, I will start trying to actually get some photos in these frames and we won't have these strange children on our wall anymore that we don't know. <laughs> Salma, do we need to take a picture of you to put on the wall? Maybe. Maybe.